Hey guys, it's Kevin again. In this video, we're going to be viewing to Back in the Game, Season 1, Episode 5, She Could Go All the Way. Um, as usual, this was a really great episode. I think what I love about this show is that they're always teaching lessons. This episode also taught a lesson um, in the subplot and the main plot. I'm not going to talk about the subplot because it really wasn't anything that big. I mainly just want to talk about the main plot. So um, let's just get to it. The main plot is basically about um, Terry, like this guy, Jack, basically, who... Um, you could definitely tell is a bit of a player, and basically, and the canon and and Danny and all the boys and um, Dick are very suspicious of this guy. They're afraid that he's going to sleep with her, and um, you know, um, you know, she's she's really ready for this. She wants to go on this day with everything, and. Um, you know, she, she wants to, she wants to go on this day with him. So, the first day she's there, uh, Terry tells Jack about living with her dad, being divorced, and having a son. And he says that despite her inability to do her, to edit herself and her baggage, he's interested in her. So this makes her think that he's really interested in her and everything. And at home, the can tells Danny, um, basically, all, all that has to do with the subplot, but... Terry and Jack then kiss outside. They both wish the date didn't have to end. Terry questions why he brought her home there. And he says he was trying to be a gentleman. He suggests they could go somewhere. But the cannon starts yelling from inside the house. And he basically says, no one is going anywhere. I'm getting a bat, a bomb, an AK-47. I'm going to blow your ass up. That scene was hilarious. Uh, I, I just think he's hilarious. And Jack leaves and Terry enters the house. And the cannon acts as though he didn't even know she was home. And uh, she can tell that the can, you know, she can tell what the can is doing. And, um, you know, the can tells her that Danny is upset because she wanted to date with a loser. And Terry ignores the can's lies. Um, so then Terry tells Lulu that she did not sleep with Jack because she was basically blocked by the cannon. And uh, Dick overhears this to Terry talking to Lulu about wanting to sleep with Jack and decides to join the conversation. He's wearing a fake mustache like Jack's, but claims it's real. He says he can grow a mustache and one night he tells Terry she can't meet up with Jack because she has to work late. She doesn't buy it. Um... She, he then fires an employer and says Terry has to work. So he, they're basically trying to stop her no matter what. This leads my theory again that Dick actually does like Terry. I definitely saw in this episode. I love the scene, by the way, in the beginning where they're basically like bantering between each other and giving each other insults. And Jack's there and they're giving each other insults. I thought that was really funny. Because, like, here's the thing I loved about that. It's just, like, you can tell they don't like each other, but I do think Dick truly does care for her. We saw that when he saw them talking about Dick, um, Jack. He did whatever they, he could to stop Terry from seeing him, which leads me to believe that he has a crush on her. Um, so, basically, um, then Terry and Jack, uh, they rent a hotel room and, um, Oh, but before this, uh, a nameless up Terry, Dick basically shows up at her house, and the can answers the door, and rips off Dick's fake mustache, and uh, the cannon warns Dick that if he is lying, and uh, they, they basically go over to see if, you know, what's going to happen here, to see, if, you know, he doesn't, and it, this is actually, I really like this scene, because Dick tells the cannon that Jack is a bad guy, and he doesn't want to see Terry get hurt, because she deserves better. This is where we saw that he does care about her. I think he me thinks better means him. And, I mean, she does not like him. We can see she does not like him. But I think he truly does care about her. And he really does like her. So, I really like where the storyline is going. I think it's really cool. Um, so, the can uses some of the boys from the baseball team to spy on Jack. They see him meeting with the shady guys in the alleys. And uh, Terry continues her relationship with Jack. Then we get to the biggest scene in the episode. Jack comes to pick Terry up from the pizza place. Dick introduces Jack to the cannon. The cannon then tries to introduce Jack to his spiked bat. Dick and the cannon uh, confront Jack about meeting with men in alleys. Jack admits he was meeting the first group because he's in a recovery program with them. And he has been clean for five years. And it seems like everything's okay with him. It, it, seem, you know, it seems like everything's fine. And they show this hotel video with audio of sex. And that's what bimbo he was fooling around with. And Terry says it was her. So she did sleep with him. You know, he, 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 you know she did. And it was. You know, she lied to Lulu. 
and um, McCann and Dick walk away. Terry tells Jack they are finished because she's never been to that hotel room, so she just lied to him, basically. Um, so he's obviously been seeing someone else, and he claims, in this is where we find out this guy's a jerk. He's a, he says it's a part of dating, and they said they were never exclusive. So she gets really upset at him, and um, she. Ba I love what she said here. She said, the 32-year-old me is just going to do this. Um, and the, then she basically just kicks in the, in the groin and rolling with the gaming system. She says, I'm a Ganon. No one takes advantage of me. And that's how it ended. And you know what? I really enjoyed the episode. I like that we got to see a lot of character development in Dick. It seems he truly does care for her. And I'm really hoping that they have a storyline with her and Dick. I'm really hoping that happens. And I'd, I'd really like to see that happen. So yeah, I really like this episode. I thought it was a pretty good episode. Let me know what you guys saw this episode. Do you think that Dick truly does care for Terry? What do you guys think? That's it for my review. Hope you enjoy it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye.